Welcome to ACE. This is another video to give professionals that extra value. Okay, today we're talking about procrastination. Are you a good procrastinator? Or you are a non-procrastinator, you don't do it, you get things done when you think about it. Well, I'll tell you, I've got news for you. I've got three simple steps to get rid of procrastination today. Now, these three steps are broken down into I, P, E. What does I stand for? Identify. So let's identify the things that we've been procrastinating on. So in my case, I was procrastinating on the video. But what did I need to do? I needed to plan. So identify the video, plan for it. Plan the whole program. So I've got all my resources in place I schedule a time that's going to be the optimum time to perform the best and then what do I do? I execute, which is this is what I'm doing. I'm executing. Now it sounds very simple, but actually there's a few things that get into it. Let's make a simple type of um, calculation. How many more weeks do we have in 2020? We've got 13 more weeks, week 41 of 53 weeks in 2020. So look at your weeks, schedule in what you want to do that you've been leaving long and saying, I'm going to do it later and put them into weeks for optimum time. But before you do that, organize your resources to allow you to get what you need to do done. So mine was my video resources for my video. Yours will be different. Now, again, I would suggest that you choose to do things that you can affect by yourself that does not depend on anybody else before you go to things that depend on other people because they would need further planning. You've got to fit their schedule into your schedule. So get rid of the things that you need to get done by yourself. So you plan after you've identified and then you execute. All right. Let's look, after you've done IPE, identify, plan, execute. Very simple. What then do you do? These are refining methods. In refining, in science, we make an observation. Looking at your 13 weeks, you make an observation. That is, you're monitoring your pattern, your trend. You want to see what's happening. You want to find out what is the trend that's happening across this? When are your optimum times? And what is stopping you from actually getting things done? If you totally monitor the trend that's happening, you're going to come back following that trend and then you evaluate the patterns you've gotten from it. So first you look at the 13 weeks. Have I gotten everything I wanted to get done? What stopped me? And then you come back and then you evaluate the pattern and say, okay, I'm always good on Mondays. I'm not good at Fridays. Those are your patterns. And then you now start planning. You come back again to the IPE, which was the first thing we did. All of this whole process now becomes you've identified things you want to improve. You select them. Again, you go back into planning. You do a resource plan, a time plan, and then you choose a schedule and you execute on that schedule. There's nothing stopping you because now you're empowered. You've got three simple steps to get rid of procrastination today. By the way, for everybody celebrating Black History Month, happy Black History Month. Okay, um, thank you for tuning in and watching this video about how to stop procrastination. Look out for a video on Progress 8. This is about people in education and basically how to raise attainment in education. So we're doing all these videos to make sure you get that extra edge. Now, if you want us to give you more bespoke type of help, I would actually go to aceprofessional.org, create a profile, and we will get in touch with you and we'll give you the help that you want that is bespoke to you. Thank you very much. New phase, quick pace, you need to call ACE.